Remember in school, there was always that one subject that you loved and couldn't wait to get to, or maybe you dreaded going? Well, for me, that subject was science. I just, I couldn't wait to get there. And today, we're at UVic, exercising our brains because it's a Let's Talk Science Challenge. With a total of 3,000 participants spanning 23 sites across Canada, this science challenge has got these grade 6, 7, and 8 students all gassed up. It's an event organized by the uh, Let's Talk Science National Office at UVic. We have 92 uh, students um, from 9 different schools that are participating and they're very excited for this uh, fun, uh, fun day. The day started off with a Jeopardy style quiz game. It was fun, I think we did okay. Where each team submitted answers to a Let's Talk Science volunteer. We uh, gave them a study uh, book uh, about over 100 pages uh, four months ago and they've been studying and working hard to get ready for this uh, uh, friendly competition. The edutainment continued into the afternoon with the mystery design challenge. They'll have to be creative. Oh, look. They were to design an object using only these 3M objects. The challenge, engineer a gondola that can bear weight and move across a wire and you only have 35 minutes oh to do it. Well, just we gotta work together to create something. That's, that's really fun. Do you have any idea what you're uh, gonna be making? Um, not really, actually. I do. I know what they were gonna be making. Ah, uh, <laughs> tell us! A tower out of popsicle sticks. Yeah. I don't know. Challenges. Oh, oh, okay. You wanna tell me what it is? Should I? Okay. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you. <laughs> okay, so I had fun with the kids. But then it was time to get down to business and figure out how they were going to build this gondola and move it successfully. I think it's going to be challenging, but I think they're going to do a really good job. It's such a great way to have kids explore and do some problem-based learning. After all, these, these kids are the next generation and they're the, the future of what our, what our technology and what things around our communities are going to look like. So totally. um, I think it's great to get them started early. What about the sticky notes? We can use they are being judged on the number of items used, innovation, and the overall originality. Yes, we have a cape. <laughs> so it'll look nice. Uh, uh, how are we going to hook the gondola onto the wire? The clocks run out, and it was showtime. <laughs> Some made it further than others. Luckily, these guys understood science is all about trial and error. It was just a small mistake. Um, the balloons didn't push um, our cart far enough. It only yeah. went like a few inches. Oh, it was, and it was it. fun, and I feel like we got we got lots of time, and it was really we got uh, lots of materials to use. In my eyes, they were all winners because of the great teamwork and creativity I saw. But there were medals to be won. <laughs> The cool thing about science is that it's everywhere we turn. Challenges like this engage students in a fun way. High fives all around? Yeah. From the University Sweet. of Victoria, I'm Raji Kabli.